Welcome Sagittarius, this is your April 2024 energy reading. It is a general reading, so trust yourself not resonates, leave what does not. Big welcome to those that are new to my channel, those that follow me regularly, you're rocking awesome, love your support. And if you do enjoy my readings and my inspirational videos, show you that love, hit the like button and subscribe to my channel, join our community and hit the notification bell so that you know when the next reading for your star sign is out. So what we're going to be doing today is pulling you a central energy that's going to set the tone of the reading. We're going to dive deep into a lot of clarifiers as well as oh, hang out to the end because it's going to be a beautiful crowning energy that's going to be very uplifting and motivating for you. So let's dive in. So pulling you a central energy from the beautiful heart and soul oracle. Oh, that one wants to fly it out. Oh, you pull the ethereal touch. It's all about your impact in the world on others. Let's pull you up the guidance. It says, Sagis, spirit is present in your very touch at this time and you are having an impact on the world around you, particularly your close relationships in ways that are far more profound than immediately obvious. The touch of your soul is ethereal, spiritual of light and sound. It moves the heart and opens pathways of possibilities through love, faith and trust that would otherwise be impossible to access. Trust in the presence of the divine in your touch, physical and spiritual. Your healing presence is making waves of love rise and stir in the world. And the divine lives and breathes through you, beloved. And remember that through the sacred temple of your body, it gifts you with the hands through which to hold and give, it is the soul within that flesh that renders touch a sacred healing. This oracle guides you to accept and embrace your healing abilities and to trust that you can feel your way through life by opening your hands to receive and taking hold of the opportunities that are presented to you. You are meant to touch the world with your spirit. So beautiful. Mm -hmm. Has the most gorgeous poem. Are you ready? It says, in a world of no coincidences and no mistakes, you are heaven sent. I thank God for the opportunity to know you, to experience your kindness, your generosity, but most of all, our love. And how long I have waited to open my heart, to bear my soul, to let my power comfort and my arms hold, to let my wisdom counsel and my love awaken. And while this is only the beginning, when I look into your eyes, I know. Oh, beautiful. All right, let's have a look at four key areas of focus for you for April. We're uh, using the Sacred Destiny Oracle. Mm, you got a message to focus. You got a snow leopard there. So really getting that clarity about what it is that you want to do what are your next steps what are the things you need to focus on oh darling you got the ability to manifest and create miracles in your life at this time and you're absolutely thriving or going to thrive so if you've been going through anything around your health well-being there's going to be a shift in energy through that And you've got the voyage card, so there could be a special baby being birthed. There's a mother or father whale and a baby whale strung underneath them. It could be within your own family. It could be a grandchild. It could be you birthing a new project, business idea, career path. It could be a soulmate journey. It can also represent travel. But you won't be travelling alone. All right, let's put you some guidance from the Enchanted Map Oracle. You got two here. All right, this is so interesting. Next to focus, you've got details, details, details. So paying attention to the fine print, particularly on contracts, anything you're signing. Mm -hmm. And it's come out with a magical map shifter. So there's destiny at play here. Even if it involves your health and your well-being, there's destiny at play, but we always have a choice as to the next steps on our path, yeah? Okay. You've also pulled rock bottom. 
which means the only way that you can go is up. A cycle completion of some thought. And you've also got strength. So number 44 is an angelic number. She's holding an enormous tree in the world in one, well, she's holding an enormous world in one hand with a tree on top. Um, Spirit's saying true strength is not doing everything yourself. It's asking for help, but most importantly, asking from the universe and trusting in the divine to help you as well. All right, so please some clarifiers for the energy oracle. Let's have a look at you needing to focus, particularly on the details. Okay. You're at a crossroads or there's a major decision to make. Which way do you go? Spirit's saying make sure when you have a major decision to make that you're in balance because when we're out of balance, we don't often make the right choices for ourselves. Mm. Whatever choice you need to make, it's going to lead you to cornucopia, success on every level. Let's have a look at this indecision. Okay, there's some hostilities around it. So you may be having people put their input into it. Telling you, trying to tell you what to do. Yeah, it's related to a contract. So this is why the details are here. So whatever this is, as much as people may not be happy about it because it may, it may indicate a significant change of some sort in your life, it is going to bring a lot more abundance in. You've got to make the right decision for you. Well, let's have a look at miracles. Okay, you've got your throat chakra here. So part of this miracle may be related to a message you want to share with the world. Some of you may need to ask for your miracle to come in. You've got the sun coming out. So this beautiful positive shift in renewed hope, optimism, big change in energy. And your miracle is directly related to your root chakra. Finance, a sense of security, stability, home, work. Let's have a look at you thriving in this destiny at play here. Mm, you also need to take quite a bit of rest. There's something going on with the physical body right now. Mm, yeah, affecting your energy levels. So you will have a return to good energy, but you know there's you've got to take time for the body to recover and rest. You've got these beautiful caring connections here in your life. So there is a beautiful support there. It's kind of interesting. It's sitting directly under the root chakra, your sense of security and stability. So whatever this decision is, it may affect both of your stabilities. Let's have a look at rock bottom here. Okay. You've got a woman holding a heart. So some of you have cleared something out of your life, being open to new love. Definitely journey here. Definitely travel. Maybe relocating. Or wanting to go off and travel. Okay, you've got the garden and the gate. So you're wondering whether or not it's the right choice for you. Whether it's the right time. Any guidance there. So we're saying whatever that choice is, it's your path to personal healing and happiness, right? So it's meant to be on your path. It's meant for you. Let's have a look at this voyage. There's three here. You're the thinking man here. So being very balanced and rational, there's a divine pair here. The need to rely on your strength at this time. And there's some anxiety going on about this choice, this decision. It's quite clear. Mm -hmm. Guidance on the anxiety. Yeah, Spirit's saying you need to be in your crown chakra, your high states of consciousness. How do we do that? Um, through our constant, you know, our mindfulness practices, doing things that take care of our physical body as well as our emotional body. Uh, you know, I can recommend an app that uh, Innertune app. I recently partnered with them. It's a free app that you can just download it, download on your mobile phone. And it has lots of beautiful affirmations in it, which 
uh, you can set the tone of who reads the affirmations and the background music and it instantly creates playlists of affirmations for you based on what you want to boost up within self or in your life and you can create your own playlist of affirmations from their library and remind yourself to play them you can set a notification on your phone or you can just tap on the app and play them whenever you feel a little bit low or you need a little bit of boost and they play for a minute or five minutes i think the premium version you can get them to play for longer uh, but i've been using it i love it go and check it out i'll put the link on here and down below all right let's have a look at strength oh okay you got deceit here i'm sure if you've been through something it's been deceitful Mm, right next to that, you've got man holding a heart. So there's a man holding a heart, woman holding a heart. There's a divine pair here. You may both have been through an experience of deceit. Mm, you've got thinking man, thinking woman. This divine pair are following each other around the board here. Um, do your emotions here. Now, this could be both of you. Whatever this decision is, it affects you both, right? The deceit could be the person from the past. The contract could be related to the person from the past. Let's have a look at this deceit. As in a settlement or, you know, sale of an asset. Yeah, it really affected the heart chakra. So it's still sitting there needing to be cleared. Hey, on the bottom of the deck, you've got a broken heart. Um, the only thing it's doing, my loves, is creating indecision in your life. Maybe second guessing your intuition. All right, let's pull you some guidance from the beautiful goddess guidance deck. Having a look at this top row about focusing on the details of whatever this contract is. Being in balance when you make decisions, it's going to lead to cornucopia. Yeah, Spirit's saying you've got to be bold and do what you want to do. Yep. Also, take it easy. You don't need to rush or force anything. Take your time, particularly if someone's trying to pressure you. Oh, my God, in the same row, you've got focused intent. <laughs> oh, you, wow. Are you distracted, darlings? <laughs> Are you distracted? <laughs> Let's have a look at your miracle, which is directly related to the root chakra. Mm -hmm. Well, you got your Aphrodite energy. So it's pretty saying you really do need to focus on some self-care. You've also got healing abilities if you want to use them. Some of you, your healing abilities is also the written or spoken word. Yeah, whatever this is, there's a golden opportunity coming in. For some of you, it involves relocating or traveling. Let's have a look at you thriving. There's a big focus on you rejuvenating the physical body through rest. And there's a gorgeous love connection here. You've got vast your independence is an integral part of who you are. So even when you're in a love relationship, you need your independence. Guy or girl? Your Coventina purification. You might need to do a cleanse of the physical body. Diet, nutrition, exercise. Your past life stuff that's holding you off in the now. Situations from the past that are impacting the now. Wow. All right. On this side, there's just so much going on about whatever choices you make, they're going to put you on the right path, yeah? There's a very well-matched couple here. A lot about travel. Oh, you got the justice card. Whatever you're going through, like if you're in a new relationship and you're still battling with an ex, it's going to be handled fairly, right? Particularly if they're putting pressure on you not to move or relocate and it's none of their business or perhaps even if it's the, the current person that you're with, you know, you both got to make a choice. But... Ultimately, whatever's coming through is yours, right? It's your choice. They impact you both, yeah. Carly, endings and beginnings, you've got to let go of the old. I'm going to give you a message that's channeling through really strongly. In the past, if you had a partner who you were, and this is whether you're a guy or a girl, doesn't matter, gender, where you are always the peacemaker or you are always the one that gives or you are always the one to be made feel guilty for your actions or your decisions or being independent or doing what you wanted to do and perhaps they held you back from career opportunities because it felt unsafe to them or, you know, it involved change around them in some way. you got to step out of that 
with these endings and beginnings. And to really just doesn't matter what relationship you are in, is to do what's right for you. The message channeling through so strongly. As I say strongly, you need to rely on your strength. Yeah? Very strong. On the bottom of the deck, you're going through transformation. All right, so we some guidance from the crystal healing deck. Oh, your ancestors are absolutely watching over you, particularly with whatever's going on here, with this energy of someone else and the opportunity coming to you. Oh, my God, darlings, another message to take action and move yourself forward, particularly on this golden opportunity because that golden opportunity is not going to be offered to you for long, right? Don't make a, don't make a rash choice, but it will be offered to someone else if you don't take it. And you've also got a message to get out in, outside in Mother Nature. Um, you may be very passionate about Gaia Mother Earth protecting animals, nature. Mm. And you've got Acma in communication. So the way you communicate with others can be super important in whatever situation this is with all parties involved. All right, let's pull you some guidance from the Messenger Oracle. Well, you've got here the ancient ones. You've also got your ancestors sitting here. So they're going to be sending you signs, synchronicities, messages from spirit. Mm, another message, you've got to let go of the old. You've got to let go of the old ways. You've got to let go of any, any people trying to make you feel guilty. Let it go. And love that you are different. Embrace all parts of self. Embrace who you are. Okay, you've got a message to challenge your perception and particularly the way in which you're looking at this contract, this situation, this fairness coming in. Uh, you've got to look at it more in and stop worrying about so much about the person that you're leaving behind and start focusing more on what's healthy for you and what's right for you. It's your time, Saggy. All right, let's have a look at your chakra balance. You got the sacral chakra, not surprised. There's a whole emotional thing going on that's being stored there. So you need to clear your emotional body and your emotions. There's also a big focus on the physical body. Some of you are definitely going through an illness or injury. Related to your energy levels, and here's the root chakra. So this decision is going to affect your security, home, stability, finances. All right, let's have a look at who you're connected to in the spirit realm. Divine gifts and talents. Well, you're connected to the ancient soul tribes at this time. Beautiful. So you've been, your soul's been here for a very long time. And magic and ritual is really important. So do your spiritual practices, even if it's just talking to spirit. And you've got the gift of a seer, so you're very psychic. You're also a visionary. Mm -hmm. You can see things way before other people can. All right, let's have a look at your life path guidance. Oh, we've got a message that study will get you on the right path. So if this offer that comes in and you feel like it's a little bit, it's going to extend you out of your comfort zone or you need to learn new things, well, you can do it, Spirit's saying. You have the capability of doing it. You're also highly creative and innovative. I'm going to say to you, one of the candles has just gone out, right? So whatever that was before that you need to let go of and just focus on you, the candle's gone out on it, right? As I say that, hello, you're a visionary, a big picture person. So you can share your vision with others. You can build teams around your visions and get people together and collaborate and create big goals and dreams and visions in your life. Amazing. All right, let's pull you some guidance in terms of your crowning energy from the beautiful Divine Circus Oracle. Gorgeous deck by Alana Fanchild. Now, if you feel like you need extra guidance and support at this time with a personal reading, I'm no longer doing personal readings, but I have partnered with Spiritual Blossom and they have this beautiful team of really experienced psychics and clairvoyants. So if you do want to get a personal reading, I'll put their link on here and down below. Go check them out. Oh, my God. Oh, do not leave badges before you hear this message. Oh, you're on a date with destiny. Hello. <laughs> oh, you're on notice. Oh, it has the most amazing message. Mm -hmm. Pull it up. You ready? It says, Sadgies. 
out of the ethers and into your life. She arrives now because you have a date with destiny. She is a mysterious creature. Her ways are wild and her guidance is true. She may create chaos from which a new order can emerge, but there is no need to fear. She has come to inspire, to uplift and direct you. A date with destiny is a big deal. It's the moment when you realize that there is something helping you out, something intelligent, powerful, wise. And no matter how empowered you are, something even more powerful than your own efforts. The oracle of the date with destiny means that all bets are off. Nothing is held sacred and anything can happen. If you're a control freak, this will probably scare you witless. So you need to know something important. You can trust in destiny's interventions on your behalf, even if her work seems to be causing your best intentions to go astray. Trust or go mad because you cannot control her, and you do not need to. Your divine destiny is your best life. It's what you want and need, even if you don't immediately realize it. Even if it's rather different to what you once thought you wanted and needed. And hers is the guiding hand closing the wrong doors, sometimes slamming them abruptly in your face. Mm -hmm. Nurse your ego when that happens, but let her soul shout in glee because you'll know it's the calling card of destiny and she'll open the right doors for you. She isn't despite most people's fears the saddest, but she will dance through your life with her big stomping combat boots, even if it means causing some pain now to avoid a far greater pain later on. And the appearance of havoc or mayhem is just a sign that she's at work on a divine realignment in your life. Her every move, even the most incomprehensible to the mind, is deliberate and divine. So when this oracle appears, you're on a date with destiny. The universe has heard your prayers that are in your heart. Life is gonna answer them by rearranging what needs to be rearranged to sort out whatever has been troubling you. And make sure you let it happen, you're not meant to feel in control. Destiny is an exciting, unpredictable phenomenon. And you're probably gonna feel a sense of instability and a feeling that Things are going to change, and you are right. If you allow destiny to take your hand, she'll guide you into the places you really want and need to be. And if you cannot trust her, she'll push and she'll prod you anyway. But you won't just enjoy the journey quite so much. The more you allow yourself to trust in her, the more you will realize that the universe is working with you, not against you. And if you're willing, it will show you the time of your life. Mm-hmm. There's an affirmation here. It says, I am on a date with destiny and me. My life and all my dreams now become perfectly aligned to fulfill the divine potential within me. And my date with destiny is full of the most fun, passion, joy, and purpose and play that I can have whilst being me. You're on notice, Sagittarius. Big notice. Mm -hmm. Slamming that door, the closed door, abruptly, right? <laughs> the only way is this way. <laughs> All right, those are your messages. Love to hear your feedback, your comments down below and how this reading resonated for you. Take it easy, my loves, for now. Much love, much light. Namaste. Mm -hmm.